Avoid stating your opinion at all costs because you might offend or challenge someone. And my oh my, we wouldn't want that, would we? Well, I mean, you can say your opinion, but just make sure it's nice and sugar-coated and completely fucking meaningless. Okay, I can do that. <clears throat> Drama Alert is possibly a tremendous innovation to the YouTube landscape, and also a complete and total waste of fucking time. Mostly. Am I doing it right? So, Drama Alert, wait no, hashtag Drama Alert. Oh, Christ in hell, kill me. It's technically a news channel dedicated to reporting on the activities and scandals of high-profile internet personalities and events, hosted by a Mr. Daniel Keem, also known as Keemstar, the internet's favourite lumber sexual garden gnome. Now, I know that Mr. Keem has a bit of a sordid history. Dude, seriously! Don't, 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 I don't think Game so. Lead. We can have some hot, fucking sloppy, fucking wet sex, you know what I'm saying? No. Like the, the type of sex where like- No, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, no, I get it, I get it. Alright, uh, that's pretty bad. Bitch, this stupid fucking justice, all fucking righteous fucking nigger, Alex, is doing this shit. You fucking nigger! Yo, everybody type in the chat, Alex is a stupid nigger. <laughs> Cause I'm telling you, Tita, I got the heater. I'm about to take my pita and stick it in your vajaji. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Keemstar himself. The guy could secretly want to juggle Hitler's scrotum, and I would not give a floppy fuck. I'm sure Mr. Keem is a lovely chap, trying to better himself to make up for the fuck-ups of the past or whatever. Likes going out fishing on the weekends, daydreaming about sausages. I don't know. Point is, I want to talk about Drama Alert, not Keemstar. Drama Alert is the topic of this video. It seems like a much more interesting case study. And that means Keem's beans means he, personal life, has wank all to do with this discussion. Let me lick the frosting. Let me lick the frosting. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so bad at this. Also, most of the operation is run by the behind the scenes crew anyway, so, uh... <laughs> But the real question of the day, is there any greater significance or importance to drama alerts in the grand scheme of things? And of course the answer is obvious. No! Yes? Maybe? Let's get down to it. So, when you break it down, Drama Alert serves two main purposes. First, you've got the reporting, which ranges from approximately dicking pointless to coming dangerously close to actual journalism. From time to time, they'll talk about scandals in the COD community, or pedophiles, or... nothing or anything else. But it's stuff that would actually sell it as a mildly legit news source. However, for every kitty fiddler, you've got roughly eight dozen instances of just reading what some knob or knob that have had enough people heard of them has said on Twitter. Why? If you're already a fan of a specific person, you'd already be following them. And you'd already know this. Not that it's really practical information anyway. And if you don't give it to us, well then that's just less than not helpful. Information that's wasting space could have been used to think about F Ferrero Rochers, I don't know. It's just gossip mongering for the sake of providing gawk material to rain down upon ye unwashed masses. But isn't that what's naturally going to happen when you're reporting on the goings on of people on the internet? Well... Uh, yeah, I suppose you're right, inexplicably annoying dolphin. There is gonna be a fuckload of minutia out there, and well, they are getting better, reporting on shit that actually fucking matters, hashtag make YouTube great again. Exactly! You should always assume the best in people. Yeah, yeah, good for you. Now fuck off before I sick some rabid Argentinians on ya. The second purpose that Lama Pervert fulfills is to provide a sacrilegious holy ground for two parties to settle raging disputes in front of an anxious audience lusting for blood and controversy. 
Or it's just a place where two people go to have a beef while our Mr. Beam just eats popcorn and watches like a sociopathic cockfight supervisor. This is what elevates karma dessert to a higher plane. Without this, this would just be some sleazy slime ball sitting sullenly in a secluded sleeping area, silently stalking cyber celebrities. What I'm saying is, this is what makes it just more than TMZ Internet Edition. Kind of. It's a place where people having a quandrical and buggerance can sort shit out for the rollicking amusement of all. Granted, it's not like Mr. The claim does much. There's a spot of moderation here, there, and everywhere, but for the most part, he's just sitting back, munching popcorn and snorting G Fuel. Use code Keem, etc., etc. But still, when you break it down, this is still just a paparazzi merchant designed to profit off the misery of others. It's kind of fucking evil when you really think about it. But even still, does. Uh, not run out of rhymes. Drama alert! Hold a greater significance. Well, of course, I wouldn't have asked the fucking question otherwise. But not in a practical, but in a symbolic sense. Tabloid journalism has existed in mainstream media for decades. Some might even argue centuries. And for those who wouldn't consider themselves a part of the lowest common denominator, this has mostly been palmed off as vain, vanity fueled pap and nonsense that is nothing short of a complete waste of fucking time. But what does this have anything to do with drama alert? He said, sarcasm dripping from his teeth like a poorly planned out bucan. Shot. Well, for years, mainstream media has seen the internet as a joke. It's nothing more than a cat's video depository. Ha 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 ha. But with the rise of Drubbler, it shows that the internet is growing up, becoming more mainstream. It is evolving as Drama Alert grows more and more. It just goes to prove that the internet is just becoming as vain and pointless as traditional media. Yay! Great A. I like what you're doing on YouTube. I like how you roast certain people. My takeaway from watching your videos is that you're a cunt and you make scumbag videos. <laughs>